28. For this one, I'm struck by the anatomic site clue. Good. It looks like the epidermis is a little pale, and the corneal layer and the granular layer strikes me like this come, might come from lip or, or mucosa, uh, oral mucosa. Good. And supporting that is are these uh, almost like cauliflower-like structures at the base of the specimen with cleared out areas that I think are good for salivary gland. Very good. Yes. And then the histologic process is this sort of cystic area uh, filled with amorphous material and an inflammatory infiltrate. Um, with all of those said, I think that this could be a mucosal that is kind of ruptured and causing a lot of secondary inflammation. Excellent. Yeah, this is about the best example you could have hoped for of a mucosal. And like you said, the, the first thing is recognizing the site. We've got uh, mucosa, right? Because like you said, there's no granule layer and, and minimal keratin on the top, no skin and nexal structures. So this is from a squamous mucosa site. Um, and then down here, if we're lucky, we will actually see minor salivary glands, which are, are mucinous uh, type of uh, glands. And then the ducts, which are lined by double layer uh, cuboidal, or I'm sorry, columnar uh, type uh, epithelium. So those are minor salivary glands, which are on the, the mucosal surface of the lip and cheek. And then what has happened is that one of the uh, salivary gland ducts has gotten blocked and then ruptured. Um, <clears throat> and as it ruptured, it spilled out the mucus secretion, and that has made a pseudocyst. So if we look here, what we would think was a cyst lining is actually not epithelial lining at all. It's lined by a layer of kind of palisaded, frothy, foamy, mucin-filled histiocytes. And then you also have mucin-filled histiocytes, or mucophages, if you will. But they look they look like they're lipid-filled, but they are probably mostly filled with, with mucin material. But they look very similar to xanthoma cells to me, maybe a little bit more blue. And they're free-floating in the middle here. So it's basically a pseudocystic type reaction to the spilled-out mucin secretion from a ruptured salivary gland or salivary duct. So even if we just had this top part up here on the lip, and I see some foamy cells around uh, a central cystic area, plus minus some free-floating ones or some mucin, I would say it's suggestive of a mucosal, even without all the deep stuff, but how much better one you can get all of this. So a really, really good example of that, of a mucosal. Or the other name that's been given this is mucus extravasation phenomenon.